Welcome to Vanderbilt Business Live. I'm Eric Johnson, and I'm here today with Professor John Lehman. Professor Lehman is the faculty director of our executive education team and teaches popular classes on advanced strategy, consulting, and how to thrive in life. Welcome, John. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for having me. Well, in an article you recently wrote uh, for our newsroom, uh, you mentioned that there had been a, a paradigm shift in business education. Can you talk about that shift a little bit and what's happening? Sure. Uh, you know, you think about the old school model, the one that I went through. Um, you, you, you graduated from college. You got a, a plum job. You worked for a couple of years. Yeah. Then you went back, got your MBA. And that was kind of the, the pinnacle of your business education. The shift that's happening now is one toward lifelong learning. So instead of front loading everything, um, now you're going to be learning as you go along in your career. And there are a number of things that are driving that process. First of all, the nature of the skills required in jobs are changing faster as the economy accelerates, the technology and so on. Um, people are changing jobs more often, so they have to sort of retool themselves. I think also you got a, a, a turbo boost, if you will, from COVID because we pushed to online yeah. um, a lot quicker. And so that kind of um, accelerated that curve. And so it's much more acceptable to do that online. Um, and so think of it as a lifelong exercise, constant retooling. Um, and I think that's that's the shift that we're seeing. Today. Yeah, yeah. And of course, that has a lot of implications for, for professionals, right? How, how do they respond to that? Well, I think as a, as a professional, you have to, one, be aware that you're going to do that. Um, two, you want to take charge of your own kind of educational path. Um, companies will have offerings available to you and, and obviously avail yourselves of that. But there are, will be a lot more opportunities in the open marketplace to continue your, your education and a lot more outlets and a lot more places where you can get that kind of learning. So I would anticipate either where you want to go or what you're going to need and seek that out if you're not getting that yeah. from your employer. Yeah. And of course, it means things from business schools themselves, right? We're changing uh, in the face of that. How, how do you see that landscape changing? Um, I, I think business schools really have to rethink their delivery model. Obviously, there's always going to be a market for an MBA program, um, you know, masters and so forth. But what you're seeing now is you're seeing a shift towards certificate programs, which are shorter. You're seeing um, much more online activity. Um, you're seeing what I would call more modular um, learning opportunities. And so um, they're going to have to experiment and also get closer to, to the marketplace, to customers, um, and, and develop programs that are relevant at the time and are constantly iterating. Yeah. And you lead our exec ed team, which is really right in the middle of all of that right it now. Is. It definitely yeah. is. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the things that you're doing in executive education. Well, uh, I would say we are we're doing a number of things. Um, first, we are trying to expand our skills in online. So um, we had an online certificate program, general management program, which was kind of our first foray. We started that a few years ago. We've got two new programs coming out right now. Uh, one is in healthcare for emerging healthcare leaders. Um, it's an asynchronous program. Primarily, it does have some live online components as well, and that's targeted at healthcare professionals. Uh, that are, are just coming into leadership roles. Yeah. We also have a program on sustainability, uh, which we did as a joint venture with the University of British Columbia. Columbia excuse me, and, um, and it's how corporations need to respond to that whole sustainability era. Um, so those are two areas with certificate programs, which I mentioned before, and also in very relevant topics um, that, are, that are timely and a different delivery model in terms of how people can consume that, because most of that is asynchronous and can be consumed on their own time. Um, some other things that we're doing, uh, we're also uh, working with our alumni. We did our first uh, alumni reboot, 1.0, oh, right. yeah. uh, when folks were in town and we're experimenting with um, the kind of programs that they want to have uh, available to them to make sure that we're serving that market. And then, um, Another experiment that we're working on is uh, doing more smaller mar modular learning um, concepts. So instead of maybe a monolithic program that might take months to do, you'll be able to go in and access maybe two or three hours of programming 
point um, need. Exactly, that you can get critical things that will be helpful and relevant to you um, and, and make that happen. So um, we're, we're starting on modules of those as well. That's really exciting. Really uh, timely topics, sustainability, you know, healthcare obviously is a huge one for us here in Nashville and many, many professionals are finding the need to gain business acumen and build their skill set there. So yeah, those are super. Absolutely. And I think it's a, um, it's a really exciting time to be involved in executive education. Um, there's new competitors that have come in um, that are providing programming. The geographic boundaries that we've had in the past, which cuts both ways, folks can come into our market um, and, and deliver programs in our audience. We can go into other markets very easily. So it opens up the universe of where we can deliver programming. And I think the folks that are the most savvy in terms of creating program that's the most relevant um, and the most important to our learners are going to be the ones that win at the end. But it also requires some new skills, um, not just online, but in terms of marketing and selling those programs. We're also trying to align with companies that are very good at that and partner. Um, we're a pretty small team. We're a small school, as you know, but um, we're scrappy. Um, and so we're trying to be creative and, and try to do things um, to first experiment and get in, find ways that we can, we can compete and win. That's awesome. Oh, well, Professor Laban, thanks so much for joining us. And thank you for joining Vanderbilt Business Live. Thank you.